are in Bath and we are staying at the hotel behind us, the Francis, the Francis Hotel. Right, yeah. Um, if you're new here, I'm Helen. I'm Alex. And we visit creepy attractions, weird things, and everything around the world, and we take you with us. We do. Now, this one in particular is because it's got some spooky goings on, so we're going to go there, show you around, tell you some stories, show you the room, and then have a bit of dead and breakfast and tell you what we thought of the food as well. Come with us. classic double room. So, quick tour for you. So we have a lid here, which, hang on, make sure my shoe's not on it, but seems nice. Yeah, seems good, I can do that. Um, we have a, uh, we have got a nice, nice bedside cabinet, cabinet, lights, um, ordinary plugs, no USB plug-y things, but that's fine, that's all good. Um, View out of the window. Well, bit nice car bit. parky. Yeah. But a little bit car parky, but also hills in the far. Look. Which yeah. is quite nice. And you've got all the chimneys and stuff, and Bath's quite nice, isn't it? So it's, it's awful. That is um, lovely. We have a desk here. I mean, if you were actually here to work or whatever, I don't know that there's much room for that, but also it's nice to have a bit of a desk. What do you think that is? 32 inch telly? <laughs> um, the, we've got coffee making facilities here, we've got a little cafeteria, which is quite a cool little touch, obviously the kettle there, but that's quite cool. And they give you like a sachet for it. So that is have good. A whole thing of coffee salad, which whole I pot of coffee. I love a coffee. A couple of coffee bags, one decaf, one normal, lots of different teas, and even a couple of biscuits. Lovely. Um, there's a little fridge here as well, which has got. It doesn't, I don't think it's like a room service-y thing, so you've got a couple of bottles of water still and sparkling and a semi-skimmed cow's milk, that's what that is. Oh, for the, that's nice. That's good, actually. Fresh I milk. I hadn't noticed there's no milk, so that's actually really good. Um, and it's a sealed bottle, it's not like, you know. That's really good. That's good, that's good. Um, I assume if you wanted some sort of alternative, you'd be able to go and ask. I bet. And then in this cupboard we have... This cupboard here. Through two, absolutely nothing. Uh, we have a non-slip mat, so you don't go a over, over tea. Yeah, thank you. Um, we've got a hair dryer. You have a safe, uh, which you can obviously throw your belongings in. It's got all the info there, and an iron, and an iron board. Um, Lovely. And a mirror on this side as well. So, there really is. at first I thought maybe that's a weird place, but actually, it's not bad. This room is very cosy though, so there's not anywhere else that mirror could go. No. No, absolutely. And just, just behind you as well, there's some pictures on the wall. Which are of the hotel. So that's the main staircase. Um, and this is meant to be out the front, but um, the front is a bit more grand than that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it has a parrot, so. There's an incredibly lovely phone down there as well. We love this vintage phone. Yeah. And I know this is phone, it's, it's a really, vintage. I say vintage phone, it's it's a modern phone, but meant to look vintage. Um, I like that the glasses are on the bedside table um, and not just hidden in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It's Talking good. of bathrooms. Talking of bathrooms, on the way round, so that's why I asked about air conditioning. Oh, so, good. Um, so we'll try that out later. But yeah, the bathroom. So compact bean shoe. I will open this bathroom, and much like the TARDIS, suddenly the room is much bigger. <laughs> I mean, I might sleep on this bed. Uh, we have a scarf up. Pick it up, pick it up. Uh, and then. And Beetlejuice might... subway tiles. Yeah, yeah, really cool, really cool subway tiles. Beetlejuice. This thing I bloody love. Yeah. I think that's really nice. Um, massive mirror, so you can couple you can get ready side by side if you need it to. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, <laughs> what have we got here? Body lotion and hand, hand wash. wash. A couple of little, little flannels, um, towels, tissues. Yeah, it's all really lovely. There's plenty of towels. Plenty of towels, like a couple of hand towels each, a couple of big towels each. Um, and then down here, we have a nice large shower. Here we go. Excuse my shoes. Um, so yeah, it's good. Got a waterfall one there, got a, like a normal one there. Uh, and then we've got, again, body wash, uh, shampoo and conditioner. And behind you, 
is a photograph of the Roman baths, yeah. which is lovely. Which is lovely. I really do like the work that, you, that they've done these, the bow. Yes. <laughs> I love the way. <laughs> I really like, oh yeah, it sounded like your song. Um, <laughs> I'll tag, is that song on? Oh, I don't know. We'll see know. if we can find it. It'll make sense if we put this in. Um, I, I like the direction that they have the subway towers and I like that they're beautiful, juicy. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, it's good. It's a nice, it's a nice room. The Francis Hotel in Bath, UK is renowned not only for its elegance and historical significance, but also for its ghostly encounters. One of the most chilling stories is that of a former housekeeper whose tragic end left a permanent mark on the hotel. Accounts of her death vary. Some say she hanged herself in despair, while others believe she jumped from a high window. Her restless spirit is said to haunt the hotel, with guests frequently reporting eerie scratching and tapping sounds in their rooms. One guest even witnessed a hot water bottle inexplicably flying across the room. But the housekeeper is not the only ghostly presence. The hotel is reputed to hub multiple spirits, adding to the unsettling atmosphere. Visitors and staff have encountered sudden drops in temperature and felt the sensation of being watched. Shadowy figures are often glimpsed out of the corner of the eye, only to vanish when looked at directly. Faint whispers echo through the hallways, hinting at conversations from another time. In addition to these phenomena, some have claimed to see full apparitions dressed in period clothing, seemingly unaware of the passage of time. These spirits endlessly repeat the routines they followed in life. Staff members have also reported flickering lights and objects moving on their own further cementing the hotel's haunted reputation. These ghostly encounters have made the Francis Hotel one of Bath's most haunted locations. The stories of the housekeeper and other spectral inhabitants have been passed down through the years, each retelling adding new details and deepening the mystery. For those interested in the paranormal, the Francis Hotel offers a unique and unsettling experience. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, a stay at this historic hotel promises an unforgettable glimpse into the unknown, where the past lingers just beyond the present. Oh, yeah. We are on phone cam. Okay. We are in bed watching ghost adventures. Um, you would have heard the ghost story by now about the um, maid and the scratching in the walls. So there's no no particular room that they've attributed the noises to. So we live in hope. Um, we will report back. We'll let you know. In the morning. Back on the phone, just before we head down to breakfast. Yes. Um, I did ha didn't have any spooky experiences, nothing. No, I didn't. I, I I was warm during the night and had to get out of the covers a few times. And there were noises, but I believe there were people up above us rather than scratching. I genuinely did lay awake for a small amount of time listening, and there were some scratches. But like I say, I, I think I think it was just people about, and I was just hoping. I think it's a very noisy hotel, isn't it? Because it's a very old building, um, lots of rooms crammed in. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's what it was. The only things that went bump in the night were other people. And I didn't feel anything spooky at all. But no. <laughs> no, no spooky feelings anywhere. No, no, no. So unfortunately not, but uh, very pleasant nonetheless. But if you've had a spooky experience, please let us know. Yeah, please let us know. We're going to go down and grab some bread. <laughs> did you think of your breakfast breakfast was lovely the restaurant is really nice everything's laid out so nicely um i had an orange juice and an apple juice um a slice of toast uh the orange juice was a little bit vinegary 
and I think it was from concentrate so mm. but the apple juice was very nice um, toast I just had a slice of white toast with some anchor butter on it and there was no faults with it whatsoever a uh, piece of watermelon perfect and I had one sausage it was a Lincolnshire sausage it was very good meat content um, yeah everybody knows what a Lincolnshire sausage tastes like and, it like, and it was cooked perfectly and it was delicious um, back no that's a lie streaky bacon um, Americans would just call it bacon and it was quite crispy and it was not smoked um, I had a mushroom which was really nice and a couple of baked beans which were definitely Heinz a little dollop of ketchup which was either Heinz or equivalent like high quality and some scrambled eggs which were nice but I did need to season them at the table um, and then I had a cup of tea uh, well two cups of tea the first cup of tea was really nice the second cup of tea was a bit scummy on the top but I think that's because it had been steeping in the pot um, the whole thing it would, it would have been 1995 as well um, five 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 great so for my breakfast uh, assuming you're watching this after uh, Helen's is I could just say ditto um, but I won't uh, I basically uh, copied and had exactly the same so I had a piece of bacon sausage um sorry i had some watermelon to start let's go backwards i had some watermelon to start with uh, and a piece of toast which is very nice and then i had a uh, cooked breakfast so it was a piece of bacon a sausage a couple of mushrooms scrambled eggs beans and tomato sauce now the mushrooms for me they already had some seasoning on and there was quite a lot of pepper on it and i don't tend to have pepper and stuff like that so i wasn't that keen on the mushrooms um, the scrambled eggs were nice. I didn't put any seasoning on mine, but that's because I tend to soak them in tomato sauce um, because I'm a child. Uh, but that was nice. The sausage was nice. Um, there was a very there was a lack of sawdust content to the sausage, which so I can tell if it's nice or not. Um, in my mind, anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. Uh, a couple of cups of coffee. It was like a little cafeteria came to the table. Um, so that was really nice. Not enough milk, but I don't know. I could have asked for more. That was just just because I didn't ask for more uh, and I think that was a, I think that's all I had oh that's blueberry muffin as well because I'm a pig uh, and it's breakfast in a hotel so you know you've got to, got to try these things out they also had just a it note. was a mini muffin it was a mini it was a mini muffin it was a mini muffin but it was a muffin nonetheless um, they also had some things where you could like um, get porridge on request and, and stuff like that um, so yeah huge selection uh, really nice uh, the juices I also had orange juice and Apple juice. I didn't mind the orange juice, but I absolutely can see it wasn't fresh squeezed. But it, it was nice. Um, I would say because of the ambiance and uh, the stuff, very nice. Um, and the food was good. I'd say it was a fun. Thank you for joining us for Dead and Breakfast at the Francis Hotel in Bath. Yeah, it was great. I hope you enjoyed coming around with us and listening to some stories. See you next time. See you next time.